I'm gonna say it. No, critic. No, no. I'm gonna say it. Critic, you I'm sorry. No, don't hold me back. Don't hold me. I'm gonna say it. No, I'm gonna say it. I'm saying it's pushed me this. I'm sorry. It pushed me. I said no. Care Bears in Wonderland is a better adaptation than this. Yeah, come on. I said it. I said it. Who wants them? Come on. Come on. Apart from at least giving us what the title promises, Care Bears in Wonderland and not Underland is still mad nonsense where everything is backwards. The villain of the movie wants to bring sense and order to it. That would be a legitimate threat to their world. So the fear in the movie is 100% justified. Here, the queen is just a jerk. But as long as she's as crazy as the rest of them, which she supposedly is, Wonderland, oh I'm sorry, Underland shouldn't care. Because unless you missed what was constantly hammered in, both the story, the book, every interpretation ever made, they're mad. They're all mad. So what should they care about any of this? And don't get me wrong, Care Bears is an awful movie. It's really bad. They do some stupid like making the queen nice, a whole bunch of other But in terms of which one is closer to the spirit of what Alice in Wonderland is, I'm sorry, the Care Bears got closer. They embrace the insanity of Wonderland. This one is a shame to even be called Wonderland. <laughs> that. <laughs> what? Um, speaking of things we're ashamed of. Hey, hoo hoo yeah. There he is! Let's go get him! Ah! Oh, 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 man. Ah! I am the great and powerful Tim. <laughs> Burn, you're not even ripping off the right source material! Uh, you're destroying the Wizard of Oz! You'll need to do that, Sam Raimi already did that! Critic, why do you hate my work so much? I'm just trying to bring something creative and new. Then bring us something creative and new, not trying to destroy what was already fine with your tire cliches! I mean, look at this climax! I think the only reason you allow these adaptations to be so war-hungry is because you like getting shots of armies lining up. Seriously, look at all these movies that you've used them in. You're like obsessed with them. Hey, now come on. Those scenes came from Mars Attacks, Planet of the Apes, and Batman Returns. As we all know, those are critically acclaimed masterpieces, but they look so cool. We see Alice dressed up as Joan of Meh, and they have their dumb little battle. We meet on the battlefield once again. That's enough chatter. I'm the wild eccentric one where I come from. And, again, in our PG film, we get a rather gruesome decapitation of our fearsome Jabberwocky. Off with your head! A family thing! Oh, oh, this is nothing! Oh, no! Oh, 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 Bring the kitty. Kill her! We follow you no more. So that takes the Red Queen out of power, Queen Uninteresting is in control again, and the Hatter feels he can finally celebrate by doing his dance. Oh, the head just did. Kaloo! Kaloo! Oh, wait a minute. Is Wonderland, oh, sorry, Underland, getting jiggy? I think it is. Boy, he ain't no paper man. He really swings out with a mess of jive. I haven't seen anything this crunk since I saw Vanilla Ice crack into the tune of macaroni and cheese. Oh, Hatter, you be dope. Okay, are you sure you didn't escape from a mental institution? So Alice goes back home apparently wiser and somehow even blander. Sorry, Hamish, I can't marry you. I love you, Margaret, but this is my life. You're lucky to have my sister for your wife, Lowell. That is no prince, Aunt Imogen. You need to talk to someone about these delusions. Don't worry, Mother. I'll find something useful to do with my life. And you. You wanted a brain. What you don't have is a diploma. You and I have business to discuss. Shall we uh, speak in the study? Oh, and one more thing. My god! Her boring personality is in direct conflict with our boring personalities! Most unorthodox! So she uses her newfound expertise in sword fighting and monster slaying into the trading business. Which this movie never mentions she has any knowledge of to begin with. It's vast, the culture is rich, and we have a foothold in Hong Kong. So she sails the wonder, oh, don't you mean under, where she sets to start her brand new life. Hello, Absalom. 
Really? That's our big closer? I've seen more thrilling conclusions out of Bernstein Bears. So, Critic, what do you think of my blockbuster masterpiece? <sighs> I'm sorry, I know a lot of people really enjoy this movie, but I just think it's awful! Oh. What should have been a match made in heaven turned into a needlessly complicated storyline from a seemingly simple source material. How can a movie based on a pointless book be even more pointless by trying to give it a point? On top of that, the film thinks that the more evil it can make the villains, the more interested we'll be in our heroes, rather than just writing the heroes interestingly. You can make it dark, you can make it intense, but unless you have a coherent story and characters that have a little bit more charm than snake vomit, it doesn't amount to anything. Sometimes the visuals are nice and once in a while it brings out a little bit of the zaniness from the book, but most of it misses the spirit, the charm, and yes, even the wonder that made Alice in Wonderland so great. I bet even Malice could do a more Tim Burton-style Alice in Wonderland sequel than Tim Burton could! Come on, y'all knew we were going there. But, Critic, I thought you liked my work. I did when you did original stuff. Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Nightmare Before Christmas, those were all great! But now all you do is terrible remakes! Well, that's all part of being an artist, Critic. I mean, some ideas hit bullseyes and others are dead on arrival. But you just keep trying. Not if you keep living in another person's shadow. I mean, no good can ever come of that. I think this video begs to differ. What? No! Please don't hurt me. What is a creepy girl of indiscernible age? Some home movies of the Critic's room when he was young. Please don't. Well, looky here. Looks like somebody was living in somebody else's shadow. Oh my god, you are a fanboy of me? It looks like he has a full corner of his room dedicated to you. I just really liked your work, that's all. And maybe I did a few fan drawings every once in a while. A lot of that looks pretty creative. Most of it's But some of it's good. You see, Critic, just because you're interpreting someone else's work doesn't mean some good can't come out of it. After all, didn't you enjoy Sweeney Todd? Yeah, but... And didn't you like Big Fish? Yeah, but... And isn't one of your favorite movies of all time my adaptation of Batman? Yeah, but that doesn't excuse bad remake after bad remake. And Alice in Wonderland... I'm sure will never be remade again. Well, just because it's been done a million times before doesn't mean it'll be done a million times again. Critic, this is just how artists work. Sure, I'll make a lot of... But for every Dark Shadows, there's an Edward. For every Planet of the Apes, there's a Beetlejuice. In fact, my next movie is called Big Eyes, based on the artist who did that kitsch artwork in the 60s and all the trials and tribulations she had to go through. Actually, that sounds kind of interesting. And based on another source material. <sighs> Alright, for the good of the creative mind, I guess it's good to put up with some every once in a while. Nevertheless, go forth, my young one, back into the real world to look forward to the wonders that Burton Land will bring unto you. I will, Mr. Burton. I know you won't let me down. I'm sure I won't eat. Tim Burton's eagerly anticipated Big Eyes has been canceled. Replaced with his latest cinematic creation, Adventure Time, starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. I completely forgot whatever lesson I was supposed to learn. I like large.